What the hell is that thing? Two maintenance staff at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza chat as they work on one of the animatronics. Come on, let's keep working, dude. Mr. Afton is gonna be pissed if he sees the room looking like this. As they clean up, they notice Bonnie's hand moving on its own. Did you see that? What? The, the bunny, the, the bunny's hand just moved. Bonnie? Yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie, if you're here, show us a sign. Whoa, oh, shit, my you God. saw that, you saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw that, all right, I saw that. I'm gonna make sure it's unplugged. Maybe it's just malfunctioning, man. Oh! Bonnie lunges at one of the workers, causing the other to flee. He runs through the halls and out the back exit, having escaped the horrific animatronic. What the, what the hell's going on? In the dead of night, we see someone arrive at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. They've been tasked with repairing the restaurant's generator, located in the basement. As they enter the dark halls and head towards the back, they glance at the animatronics. Did that one just move? Against their better judgment, they head down the stairs, into the basement, and locate the generator. After repairing it without too much trouble, they begin to head back up the long staircase when they hear a noise. Hello? Somebody down here? They find what looks like a crank on one of the walls. Turning it reveals a crawl space leading to yet another staircase. The maintenance technician is apprehensive about heading down further, but when he goes to turn back... Hello? Is anybody there? This is the cutest kitten in the world. If you like them, then please subscribe. I mean, you don't have to subscribe, but if you don't, then you hate this kitten, and I'm not sure that's possible. Garrett Wade's FNAF VHS series is among the most underrated out there. An up-and-coming creator here on YouTube, they started posting FNAF VHS episodes just under a year ago. While the series takes influence from the usual suspects like Squimpus McGrimpus' original FNAF VHS, there's also clearly a big liminal Backrooms influence which starts to become especially apparent in later episodes. Furthermore, Garrett actually did a whole crossover between FNAF and Kane Pixel's Backrooms. It's pretty cool, check it out. Anyway, back to our unfortunate repair technician who's just been startled down the hidden staircase. They find themselves in a sub-basement littered with horrifying trashed animatronics, with the only way forward being a large vent. They crawl through, and when they emerge at the other end, they find a television playing a Freddy Fazbear advertisement on loop, and a bizarre elevator. Why would there be an elevator all the way down here? The technician rightfully doesn't trust this spooky elevator hidden in the basement of a pizzeria, so he goes to leave. What the hell? Oh shit. Um. Is anyone there? Surprisingly, the elevator goes up, not down. When the doors open, they find themselves in a dark field with the Afton house looming in the distance. As they emerge from the elevator, we see someone watching them from surveillance cameras posted around the FNAF 4 house. They step out of the elevator and begin to approach when... Hey! What are you doing here? Oh shit, that's not good. Why aren't you answering me? Go back down, go back down. No, 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 please! Deciding not to take their chances with this mysterious stranger, they retreat into the elevator and select another one of the floors. As they catch their breath, they question the man's final words. Did he say please? 
No, 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 please! Emerging on a new floor, they find themselves in what appears to be some sort of Fazbear Hello? back room, the elevator doors closing behind them. As they progress forward, they flip on the lights and find themselves in the Freddy Faz Center, a massive facility featuring Circus Baby's Pizza World from Sister Location, as well as something called Freddy's Pool House. They reach a fork with one arrow pointing towards the gift shop and storage area, whilst the other directs him to the main lobby. The lobby looks to still be under construction, and the technician remarks how odd it is that this is the first time that they're seeing or even hearing about this place. As they explore, they complain that many of the lights are out, limiting their visibility. They begin to walk towards the parts and service room, but upon hearing Ballora's music box in the distance, they think better of it and head towards Circus Baby's Pizza World instead. Shocked at just how much infrastructure exists here, the technician remarks that they must be deliberately hiding all of this from the public. Locating a gated off area, they kick their way through, injuring their leg in the process, and head into the darkness. They find a poster of Funtime Freddy, who they don't seem to recognize, remarking that they're like a redesigned Freddy. They find themselves in a large auditorium with some horrific circus-themed cutouts, as well as a massive trail of blood leading off the stage. You shouldn't follow the blood. Just turn around and go back. That thing is waiting. The technician really just wants to head back the way they came at this point, but fearing that Chica is still blocking his path, he presses onwards and follows the trail of blood. It leads to a door marked Employees Only, and upon opening it, he finds himself in the Circus Gallery control room from Sister Location. He remarks that Circus Baby, who he's never seen before, looks creepy, before noticing the glowing light and controlled shock button. Curious as to what they do, he toggles the light and scans Circus Gallery. The stage is empty. He tries the other button, which triggers a controlled shock, and for a moment we see Circus Baby illuminated in the darkness. What the hell am I doing here? There must be another elevator that can take me back to the restaurant. Oh shit. It's almost 3.30. I gotta get back to that restaurant. If I'm not there in the morning, the boss is gonna kill me. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Having narrowly escaped Circus Baby's pursuit, the technician tries to leave via the way he came, but he finds that Baby is now blocking the exit. While her back is turned, he makes a mad dash for one of the side rooms, which leads to Freddy's pool house. He notices a warning sign within, and it gives him an idea. Hey! Over here! <laughs> Baby slips and falls into the pool, and as the technician stands there, he asks himself, What have I done? You have no idea how much pain I'm in, how much pain we're all in. Chica believes that she's communicating with Afton, but she quickly realizes that she isn't. That this person just looks similar, suggesting that perhaps she's speaking with Michael. In a disturbing turn of events, Chica lifts up her animatronic mask, revealing the horror within. Someone has just salvaged Springtrap and Henry's instructional tape from FNAF 6 is playing. In the middle of the interview, they hear a noise from outside the room and go to check, but nobody is there. When they turn back to the desk, however, Springtrap is gone.
End tape. We cut to someone hiding in what appears to be the FNAF 1 location. As for what they're hiding from, well... Found him! Two more times and mommy wakes up. They flee and hide under the tables, hoping that Chica's horrifying cupcake won't find them. Desperate, they locate what appears to be a Springlock Freddy suit, and in a last-ditch effort to hide from the demonic cupcake, they put it on. Found you. Hey, that's cheating. Good thing Mommy is awake. Knock Knock opens up with a classic FNAF VHS style promotional notice for the Freddy Faz Center we saw the technician roaming earlier. Most of the card looks pretty normal, calling attention to the restaurants and pool. Co-founder Henry Emily's quote reads, Family fun for kids and grown-ups alike, but the other quote reads, A way to bring families together in a new and innovative way our restaurants never could. Knowing what we know, that's a bit of a sinister quote, especially considering the name of the executive that gave it is censored. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. We can see that construction began, but based on what the technician found in under construction, it doesn't appear to have gotten much further than this. We cut to someone walking down a dark hallway. A large wooden door opens up, revealing Bonnie, and the screen cuts to black with the words, I'm still alive, written very faintly. The words are then replaced by the image of a young boy with a striped shirt. We cut back to someone filming on the main Freddy Fazbear restaurant floor. We see a figure entering an elevator marked staff only before. I heard a voice coming from my workshop. I know it's impossible, but it sounded like my little boy. He can't be alive. I, I buried him. 